Good morning, everybody. I'm on my way to a special place. I just got permission to detect uh, an old mill from 1527, um, which is quite, yeah, exciting. I'm bothering to go there because uh, the mill was in use uh, until the er early 1900s. So I possibly could find uh, things from the late medieval times to the early 1900s. And these are quite good prospects, you know, to go detecting there. Yeah, wish me luck and I'll be back when I got my first find. As expected, there's a lot of trash around here, but uh, this time it's a piece of copper wire. It seems as if I have found my first coin here. Or is it a button? No, it's a coin, I think. It looks old. But I think, I don't know, maybe it's just um, some of one of these 1800s coins. Hmm, hard to tell because it's very grotty and toasted. But uh, I love the find because it gives me hope. Next find is a piece of lead, nothing special, but uh, amazing depth. Look at this. I think you all know the size of these spades. It's amazing. A small object like this that really gives me hope that I can uh, grab these coins in, uh, yeah, in depth. Again, an amazing depth here, and I got a coinish object here. Yes, it is a coin, I think. A small one, thin as well. I think it's a copper coin, could very well be. Uh, one hella or something like that. Maybe I can find out later. Here we have a lovely signal. And it's a bit faint. It's a clear signal, but uh, faint. And that tells me that it's deep. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh, what is this? I think it's lead bags here. Look at this. And what a nice one, beautiful one. Would be great if it was from the mill here. Beautiful, crisp lead back seal. According to the signal, it could be an another uh, lead back seal here. Yeah. 
No, it isn't. It is a musket ball, I would say. Yes, it is. You can see the sprue here. Well, guys, I, I love this place. I'm so excited. It's so adventurous, I can tell you. Found another coin. And look at the condition of this World War II coin here. My gosh, I've never found a World War II coin in this condition. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I think it has something to do with the alloy that they used on this uh, with this coin here. Um, it is an alloy of um, copper and aluminium. And uh, look at this. What a coin. Okay, on to the next. I found the next coin. And there are several other signals around here. So I'm hoping that uh, it is a coin spill here. Yeah, it's uh, ein Pfennig. One Pfennig from late 1800s, early 1900s. that I fit in the coin spill here. This is a two pfennig from 1924. Lovely find here. But unfortunately, I hit it with my shovel. Uh, I hate it. It's, uh, I think it's a bell, a bicycle bell. We will see. Yes, it is. You can recognize it here. <clears throat> yeah. Wonderful. It's an old one. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, I'm so anno annoyed about this here. Yeah. Typical find cutlery. It's a fork, or better to say, what's left of it. This had me fooled here. Thought it's a big uh, bronze coin, but um, yeah, it's from a tent, I, I would say, where you put the tent pack through, you know, to fix it. Here's the next coin. And it's one of these uh, Phoenix from the 20s. It's the same alloy as um, the World War II coin. Copper and aluminium. That's why they are so crisp and uh, in good condition. 
look what happens if I rub more here. I reveal the this uh, goldish color, which is very nice and which fools you every once in a while. I had to dig deep for this lead back seal here under stones and roots can't make out anything W2 something like that nice signal Strange little thing. Look at this. It's probably just trash, but uh, I don't know. It has something. No, it's trash. I thought uh, it might be some kind of jewelry or something, <laughs> but it's not. I think I found my next coin. Wow, what a condition. Let me check. It started to rain as you can see, but I don't care. This is a great place and I can't uh, stop now. Yeah, it's a wonderful coin from, from the 1800s, I would say. You can see the German Eagle here. I think, oh, 1875. Uh, we'll give you a close up later. Next find is a lead back seal again. Beautiful white patina here. I know it's toxic, <laughs> but it's uh, lovely anyway. Wow, a premiere here. I've never found a lead back seal of this kind. Strange looking. I've uh, I've seen uh, lead back seals like this on YouTube, found by other metal detectorists, but uh, I, as I said, never found one like this. And here you have the number 52 and some other imprints here and it was it was deep down i tell you 20 25 centimeters got a faint signal but uh, a sweet one and that is uh, what came up lovely find Yet another coin here. Again, World War II zinc this time. You can see German Eagle and the swastika. And I think it's uh, 1941 
or three, I don't know. Zehn Pfennig. One more coin from World War II. Look how grotty it is. It's uh, zinc, as I said before. Some come up uh, quite good and most of them horrible. Today I found a bell from a bicycle, four lead back seals. This one is a premier. I've never found one of these. A musket ball. And here we have the coins of today. Quite nice. Um, they are from the late 1800s up to uh, the 1940s. I can't really complain about the trash today. Rabies tablets. Yeah, brass and bronze tubes, a fork, things like that. I hope you can see it. There's a path going in this direction to the next village. And I assume that the farmers took this path to the mill to bring their wheat. I keep finding 1800s coins up to uh, 1940s coins. And I hope that I will find uh, older coins as well, due to the long history of the mill. I will return here in a few days, and I hope you join me on this trip as well. Until then, I wish you happy hunting, good luck, bye bye and auf Wiedersehen.